I don't really know anything about guitar building. Uh, I never built anything like that before. Uh, so I don't even know if what I'm trying to make will even work out. But I'm gonna go talk to some people at Guitar Center, hopefully uh, get some questions answered so that the parts that I buy actually fit together. Uh, yeah. So I went to the Guitar Center, uh, asked them some questions, but basically what they said is like, I have to do my own research to make sure the parts fit. I've been to a few other uh, guitar shops around, they pretty much said the same thing. So I didn't find too much useful information, so I just ended up uh, researching and making sure that all the parts work, and I hope that they will once they come in. And I also uh, put together this uh, kind of a drawing and a template of how I want the guitar body to look like. So I'm almost finished with all the dimensions, uh, but as you can see, like this is right here is going to be in inches, but I have this in centimeters right here. So I have some uh, conversion to do, but uh, this is as best as I can go without having all the parts ordered. Um, but after they get delivered, basically, I can just start 3D modeling this thing because I want to, I have made like this little template here of how I want it to look like. Uh, a bunch of different colors, yeah, all of those things are going to be uh, different 3D printer filaments. Alright, so I finished the 3D model of the guitar body. Uh, here it is in Fusion 360. It wasn't anything special, I did not end up recording the whole process, but it's basically, I started out with, uh, with tracing the canvas that I created. Uh, let's go look at that. So, oops. So I had this drawing of, a uh, detailed drawing of the guitar on a piece of uh, plywood uh, with a few dimensions and this actually made things a lot easier just because I already have all dimensions here. I just basically transformed them into Fusion 360. Didn't take that much time. Uh, I traced it out uh, in a sketch and then extruded the body and then made all those cavities. Uh, but after that I had to double check dimensions uh, because sometimes when you 3D print something it doesn't turn out exactly how you specified it to be so I adjusted a few dimensions here for the neck pocket uh, some minor adjustments for the uh, pickups pockets and uh, everything else so like the bridge and stuff like that but now the guitar, uh, the guitar model is ready to be printed so I'm just going to slice it up into uh, different sections that I want to be printed different colors and then I'm going to um, divide them in a way that they can fit together with uh, a little bit more surface area than Before gluing the parts together, I plan on sanding the sides that will be in contact with other sides just to give glue a little bit more strength since I didn't use any pins. If this works, then I'm going to print the rest of the guitar and do the same thing. And if it doesn't, I'm going to have to redo the connections between different segments of the guitar. I have no idea how to do this. I just think I have to drill some holes in here for the screws. Uh, so let's see.
done this test glue before, with this damn glue, but I didn't have the part to sand it, and it was holding pretty well, so I'm hoping that this will, will hold as well. One thing though, this thing dries so quickly, it makes it really annoying to work with. here on the top so that if the glue leaks out it wouldn't like bind to the front of the guitar but I forgot about it so the thing is that it only leaks from the bottom there so that's not going to be seen at all into account the length of uh, the potentiometer shaft and so here in the cavity I was able to reprint one of the pieces but the other two uh, there's just way too much material in between here and there so I'm gonna have to take a drill and just make this hole a little bit bigger on this side so that the potentiometer can sit in it I tried placing one of the humbuckers in here, but I did not, uh, when I was modeling it, I didn't take into account uh, the, the pickup. This, one. this part of the pickup, I didn't take into account how long it was. So on one of the sides, it just, it doesn't fit in there. So I'm going to be routing, more like drilling, uh, some parts of the guitar right here. Right there. So it fits. I didn't drill through my table because that would be really sad. It worked. It's gonna be the hole for the for the grounding of the bridge. Unfortunately I do not have any footage of me putting in the electronics and strings and neck. I got too excited to finish the guitar and I forgot to record basically. But uh, it wasn't anything complicated. Uh, wiring diagrams are available anywhere on the internet. Uh, all this was just me screwing some parts in, same with the neck. Uh, what stressful part about putting in the neck though was drilling in the holes in the neck. That was a little stressful, but there's no, there's no holes in the front, so it's a success. Overall, I'm really happy with how this project turned out. I really love the colors, uh, even though some of the parts did not fit perfectly well. Uh, it still looks great in my opinion, and I am super happy with it. I would totally recommend this project to anyone. Uh, if you don't have access to woodworking and you want to build a guitar, you can 3D print it. I will probably be putting all of the files uh, 
put this guitar on Thingiverse so you can have access to them for free. I might make some minor changes so that things fit a little bit better so you don't have to do any uh, things like drilling that I had to do making, to get all the parts fit in. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.